All right, I wanted to show two quick ways you can give feedback to students on their submissions um, with Google Slides and Google Classroom. Uh, one way is that, you know, we have this film strip view over here. At the bottom, you can click on the grid view. And instead of talking through each slide, you can zoom in and zoom out here. Um, you could actually do a screencast and talk through the slides just scrolling down. So you don't have to give feedback on every slide, just give an overview feedback saying, hey, on this slide number three, I thought you could have done this. Uh, if they did a nice job on slides four, five, and six, just say that and skip over them. All right, so this is one quick way is by jumping into grid view and doing a screencast and then sending them a comment to that screencast. The other way would be to jump into, so there's two buttons right here. One is for grading, the other one is for comment bank. Uh, and you can see I already have a comment over here and you can add to your comment bank saying, hey, great job, something like that, all right? Um, not that that's great feedback, but you could do that. The other thing you could do is uh, make screencasts of certain slides. So you, here you can see I have um, for Algebra 2, week one, and then slides two, I made a screencast to this. Um, here on slide four, I made another screencast. And you can see I titled it the same way. This was Algebra 2, week one, and slide four. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep building up this bank as I make these videos for these different slides. And I'm going to copy this link to my clipboard. And over here in Google Classroom, I'm going to say, you know, let's add something else to this bank. This was Algebra 2. This was week one. And this is week four. Check out this video. All right. And the reason why I have this naming scheme is that when you add comments, you can pull from this bank based on text within each one of these comments. I'll show you that in a second here. I'm going to hit add. All right. And now I'm looking through this kid's work. And I want to give feedback. So I click on this graph, whatever it is. And the shortcut to give a comment is Control-Alt-M. All right. If I start with a pound sign or a hashtag, you'll see that my comment bank actually shows up. All right. So I could start typing, hey, and every comment that has the word hey in it will show up. Uh, but instead, picture this being, you know, Algebra 2, Algebra 1, all your comments get added together in this comment bank uh, when you're working through different classrooms and things like that. I want to be able to easily search this. So I'm going to say, hey, I'm working in Algebra 2. This was from the week one, and I'm on slide four. And now that comment comes up. I can click on it. I can hit the comment and now a kid can just watch that video uh, to get that feedback.